What's up everybody, it's Exilite. So it's been 6 months since I released the tutorial and it's been the most requested thing on my channel ever since. So here it finally is. So before we start, you want to make sure you have the latest versions of CSP and Pure installed. You can find the link if you just open up CSP and Pure. They will open up the link to Ilja and Peter Bowles' Patreon where you can download them. And I'll also link a tutorial below on how to install them if you don't know how to do that already. So also a quick note before we start, please install these mods manually, do not drag and drop them into Content Manager as they won't install properly and won't work. So once you have Pure and CSP installed, we're going to now install my PP Filter Exility Realism v 108 which also comes with my new Exility FX, which is why I no longer use Reshade as this replaces it completely. My PP Filter is compatible with Pure Gamma, LCS and has VR support. However, I am working on adding pure LCS support for my VR version and also better HDR support. So before we install the filter, you want to go ahead and open up Content Manager and you want to check if you have either pure gamma or pure LCS enabled in the weather effects settings here. Most people, including myself, prefer to use pure gamma. Um, I'll definitely try to make a video soon comparing two of my PP filter so you can see them side by side. So after that, to install my my filter you want to go ahead and open up the set of course of root directory so if you don't know what that is you want to open up steam head over to the library set of course uh, properties and then go to installed files and then click browse this will open up your root directory i recommend dragging the set of course folder to your quick access as this will help in the rest of the video to do that just go back set course and then just drag it to pin quick access so you just drag the extension and system folder into the set of course root folder, make sure it's an empty space. And once you've done that, that will be installed. So once that is complete, we can now open up Content Manager, go to Settings, Set of Course Video, and then in the top right, you have Post Processing, and it's already enabled. Um, but if it's not enabled, just make sure you click on Filter and enable V108, or if you play on VR, uh, VR version. So before we go in game, we'll quickly install my video and CSP settings. I've made three different presets, medium, high and ultra. I recommend the high CSP setting for most people as this gives a good balance of great graphics and performance. So for myself, I'm going to go ahead and install both my ultra settings as I have a RTX 5080 and I play in 4K. So to install this, you just want to double click one of the presets and it'll open up a link on Google. It will usually prompt you with a message to open up Content Manager. Once you do this, it will automatically open up Content Manager like that. And then you want to go ahead and click Apply Save. Um, the only thing you have to make sure to do is to set the resolution to your native resolution or desired resolution. In my case, I'm going to set it to 4K. And also, if you want to limit your FPS, um, you can do that right here. I would recommend that you limit your FPS to 60 for most people as this will help with performance and you'll get fewer starters and your PC won't get fried. Now let's do the same thing for the CSP settings. Just double click, it will open up and then you can apply it save. So after this is all done, we can now go to the next step and install my new NECFX script. So it's pretty much the same process as the PP folder. You wanna open up your set of root directory folder. And then you just drag the extension folder into the empty space of the set of root directory and that will be installed. And then you want to open up Content Manager, you want to go to Custom Shaders Patch, and then you want to find Cockpit, brackets NECFX, this will also be NECFX if you're on an older version of CSP. And once you click it, you want to head over to Scripts, make sure it's enabled, and then click on Exhibitors Realistic NECFX Script. I usually use default settings, however if I'm track racing, like GZ3 or F1, then I usually turn on road tracking. This is quite a cool feature, I'll quickly put up a video um, showing what this does. And I also tend to turn up the stiffness multiplier to around 1.25 and global dampening multiplier as well to 1.25. This just makes the overall neck effects a bit more stiff, um, which is more realistic for F1 and GZ3 style racing. However if you prefer a looser look, then you can also uh, turn these down or just adjust each setting manually. So now that is now that that's done We can now go ahead and install my Exilite cam, which is my brand new chase camera To do this it's the same process. You want to drag the extension folder into a set of course And after that you want to open up content manager this time heading over to chase or chase camera and then opening the scripts 
and then selecting his editor cam. So this will give you all these settings. I usually keep these on defaults. If you wanted to change these settings, you can change them in game and they will change. You will see the effects happen instantly. So for my camera settings, I usually play 2.4 meters distance, 2 meters height and pitch around 14 or 13. So we can finally go in game, but before we do, you want to make sure you have pure enabled in the weather drive menu. So now that we're in game, we can go through the PP4 settings. But before we do that, I do want to mention the pure config is built in the script automatically. So you don't have to manually import it every time. So basically all the blue values is what's been changed and what's being changed. Um, one thing to note is just to make sure you reset the pure config's defaults just to prevent any overriding settings. So now what you want to do is open up the pure PP app. You'll be met with a file tab at first. You want to open up the script tab. And here you'll find all the PP4 settings. So I'm not going to go through every single setting in detail today. However, I will do that and I'll show you exactly how to tweak my settings in another video. Experiment with all the settings you like. If you do want to reset a setting, all you have to do is just, as soon as you make an adjustment, is right click with your mouse and that will be reset to the default. So lastly, if you want to install my SRP Lights config, you can do that just by dragging the content folder into the circle server directory. So in my case, I'm just going to exit out because I've already got this installed, but this will go ahead and install it for you. I am working on my own 3D trees vegetation skin for SRP, so that's also something to look forward to at the start of 2026. And there you have it, that's the end of the tutorial. If you haven't grabbed the pack yet, you can find it on my Patreon or website, links below. Uh, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone for this year. Our channel and community has grown like crazy. Without all the support, I wouldn't be able to create graphics mods and videos like these. Uh, I am planning on making a lot more tutorials, as I said in the video, so stay tuned for that. And also make sure you join my Discord server in the description. We have a great community and we host monthly photo competitions with great prizes. This month, first place prize gets $50, second place gets $25, and third gets three months of my Exilite exclusive membership. So you'll get access to my custom sky domes and early access to all my mods before they're released to everyone else. So if you found this video helpful, please drop a like to get it pushed out more. And subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out in any videos.